<laughs> Thanks for being here, you guys. <laughs> How's everybody doing? You taking a nap? What's happening? Uh, wake up. <sighs> I've been traveling all over. It's nice. I like where we're at in COVID right now where people are still dying, but we're over it. We're like, mm, well, die in your own time. We don't give a shit anymore. <laughs> right? <laughs> I hate some of the stuff we've lost in COVID. You know, not people, but um, like... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm just being honest up here. Just, you know, like, I hate that we're not shaking hands anymore. I've got a really good handshake. I'm proud of it, and I guess we're not doing that. So now I just cough directly into people's mouths when I meet them. <laughs> like, if we're going to give each other COVID, let's just get it out of the way right up top, you know? I don't know about you guys, but after losing two years of my life, two childbearing years, I'm kidding, I don't want kids. Uh, <laughs> after, <laughs> ew, <laughs> right? <laughs> Gross. I uh, <laughs> I want to have a life. Thanks so much. Um, after losing two years, I don't even have a bucket list anymore. I have everyone's bucket list. I'm like, whatever's on your list, I'll do it. I don't give a shit anymore. I was uh, at this dinner recently. I hate cigars, okay? I know I'm not supposed to say that, but I fucking hate cigars. And I was at this uh, dinner with a bunch of guys, and somebody lit up a cigar. It starts making its way around the table, and I was like, fuck it. I'm smoking a cigar. <laughs> <laughs> And I grabbed it from the guy next to me. I was like, how do I smoke this? And he's like trying to be funny. You know, he's like, just suck it like a dick. Because <laughs> men are super original. And <laughs> I was like, where'd you come up with that? Uh, <laughs> and I was like, uh, all right, bet. And I just shoved the whole thing in my mouth. <laughs> Started crying. I was like, is this what you wanted? <laughs> Am I doing it right? <laughs> you know, now there's two things I don't do very well. So, you know, that worked out. <laughs> I adopted a dog during lockdown. We got any dog people here? All right, a raise of hand. That's always good for a recording. <laughs> Fucking with you. <laughs> Just a silent me. Um, <laughs> we well, strap in. There's a lot of dog material, so it's just for you two. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I did. I have a dog. I live in Los Angeles, so everyone out there is a fucking dog cop. Yeah, people stop me in the street. They're like, did you rescue? Excuse me, did you rescue? They like ask my dog. They're like, were you a rescue? <laughs> I'm like, Jesus, yeah. If by rescue you mean paid way too much money for something someone found on the street, then yeah, I fucking rescued, you know? It's also, the place I got her from had the audacity to tell me. They're like, you know, we rescued her all the way from Tijuana. I was like, you mean for a two-hour drive I could have saved $500? Don't tell people that, lady. Come on. I could have made three grand. She had siblings. Shit. <laughs> Just telling me I'm getting ripped off? Why would you say that? <laughs> Before I had a dog, I was like, I'll never talk to a dog in a baby voice. I'm a serious person. I am an adult. And now I don't even speak English anymore. All day I'm like, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> we go out in the morning, I'm like, why didn't you get a squirrel? <laughs> <laughs> like, it started to bleed into the rest of my life, too. Like, I was seeing this guy recently, and uh, we were over at his house, and we woke up together in the morning, and I rolled over, and I go, good morning. <laughs> 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 and he's like, what? And I'm like, <clears throat> <sighs> good morning. I uh, for sure didn't think you were my dog. Like, there's no way. <laughs> There's no way I would have thought you were my dog. That's ridiculous, you know? I know you're an adult man. I'm fucking <laughs> <laughs> definitely sure of that. Uh, <laughs> you guys ever fuck in front of your pets? Not, whoa, not on purpose. Like, don't be that. <laughs> that was like a, that was like a, I mean, why not? <laughs> So okay, but this guy, I, we got like a little carried away, you know, and we left the door open. We were fucking outside. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> I noticed after a little bit that my dog had come into the room, you know, because I was looking around. I was bored. And <laughs> I see her. And at first I was like, shit, I got to get her out of here. And I thought she'll leave. You know, she'll see that this is chaos. And <laughs> she'll see shit's not going right. She'll go. Uh, but I, I, maybe I looked over too long because then we locked eyes. <laughs> and she just came right over to the bed. She's like, what do you need, Mom? I got you. Just put her little head at the end of the bed. <laughs> Inches from my face, you know, just looking at me. I'm like, this isn't good. <laughs> <laughs> this is bad. <laughs> and I did, I let her watch for a minute because I was like, you got to learn. 
you know, what not to do. And <laughs> after a minute, I was like, hey, time out, dude. We like, I got to get my dog out of the room. This is weird. And this guy says to me, he's like, I don't know, the lights are off. I was like, my guy, it's a dog, <laughs> okay? <laughs> she has night vision. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's practically a Marine sitting at the end of the bed watching us. <laughs> if you don't mind, I'm going to let her out, okay? Not my fetish. That's yours. That's your business. <laughs> I can tell my mom uh, has given up on the hope of me ever having children. My government hasn't, you know, so that's nice. It's like somebody believes in me. <laughs> we'll see. Will she? Won't she? I don't know. It's not up to fucking her. Uh <laughs> it's cool. Uh <laughs> it's great. I don't want to make my own decisions anyway. Like, I have a small brain. I'm a lady, you know. Um <laughs> <laughs> I can tell she's given up though because she started sending my dog personalized gifts like I don't get gifts in the mail but sometimes I get a little dog sweater <laughs> that says happy birthday Luna you know or happy birthday Luna <laughs> <laughs> and then what's weirder is my mom will call afterwards and she's like how's my granddaughter doing and I'm like ew don't say that you know just because I breastfed her <laughs> you know <laughs> Doesn't mean she's family. <laughs> I have really good health care right now. That's just a brag. <laughs> just a regular old brag. Um, who has health care in here? Like 1%, I think, statistically? Two of you? Uh, <laughs> the rest of us are just like trying not to die. <laughs> We're like, I hope I don't have cancer, do I? Who knows? <laughs> Can't tell. It's too expensive. Um, <clears throat> I do, uh, but don't worry, it's ending. My health care is ending uh, soon because it was attached to my job, which is a great system. Yeah, I'm going to be just like you in just a minute here. Uh, <laughs> I hate all the arguments against health care. I'm so mad. Like, I truly believe, it, like, with all my heart, I mean this sincerely, every government building should be on fire until we have health care. You know, like, we should. And here's the thing, like, I would do it myself, but I don't want to go to prison because it seems like bad vibes, you know? But... <laughs> But if you guys do it, I'll babysit for you for free. Like, I got you, you know? I'll clean your house. <laughs> I hate the arguments against giving us health care. You know, whenever politicians are like, well, you know, what, what's great about the system we have is you get to choose your doctor. Like, never mind that you can't make it to the fucking doctor. But if you could, you could choose your doctor. It's like, guys, it's not the fucking NBA draft, okay? <laughs> It's not that serious. I got my gynecologist on Yelp. I go to my dentist because he's hot. That's it. That's the whole. <laughs> like, I don't even know if he's a good dentist. He's just in there picking at shit, talking about his motorcycle. And I'm like, all right, I'll be back next week. And I've got a couple extra cavities for you. You know what I'm saying? I'll let you guys catch up on that one. <laughs> the other argument I hate is that we can't afford it. We can't afford it? Where'd my fucking tax money go? Huh? Where did that go? I'm just kidding. I don't pay taxes. Uh, <laughs> like, when they say we can't afford it, I'm like, first of all, we're paying for all y'all's health care, okay? And I see what it's doing for you. I don't know if you guys remember this. You might not. This is a very obscure reference, but a handful of months ago, there was a picture that came out of Mitch McConnell, and he's standing there, and his hands are black. Do you guys remember this? Black hands. Black his health care is so good, that motherfucker is still alive. You're not supposed to be alive when you look like you've been burnt. <laughs> like he looks like he burned to death <laughs> fully, and he's still alive. And we pay for that. And then he turns around and is like, whoa, no money left for you guys. Like, we just paid $3 trillion for Space Force. That's a real thing. And this is like, this isn't a conspiracy I read. This is something I read on a government website because I'm on there tracking my tax dollars like a parent who's lost custody. I'm like, where'd it go? <laughs> Show me my money. <laughs> you know? Just losing my mind. Like $3 trillion. We're spending it on fucking Space Force. We, we, are we looking for aliens? What are we doing with it? Do you know right now we are training 15,000 troops for Space Force? <laughs> That's a real thing our government is doing. Like, I'm sorry, I support the troops. I've done a military show. I've, my whole life I've been a support, support the troops person. I'm here to tell you there are not 15,000 people in this country <laughs> smart enough to go into space. There is not. <laughs> I am sorry. 
R I mean, right? There's not 15,000 people in this country that could convincingly play an astronaut in a movie, you know? <laughs> <laughs> there might be two, Sandra Bullock and we'll say someone yeah. else just for fun. You know, like I don't even know who else is in space movies. Space Jam, does that count? Look, here's the thing, like, if we're looking for aliens, we look no further. They are here. They are on Earth. Here's how you identify them. They're people in their 30s, 40s, don't know how to be a fucking person, you know? <laughs> here's an example. You're on an elevator. It gets to your floor. The doors open. All of your body language says, I'm coming out of the elevator. P people come in first. Those are aliens. <laughs> Those are not humans. <laughs> when your plane lands and the guy in the back row is the first to jump up, just standing there like this for 40 minutes, <laughs> just like, oh, finally, I'm so comfortable. <laughs> this feels so good. That's not, you think that's a person? That's somebody standing there thinking, shit, I would fly over them, but then they would know. <laughs> Any man with a backpack, alien. <laughs> Here's the thing, listen, I know this is New York, I know men are cruising around in backpacks with like whatever you carry, I don't know what's in there, you know, a computer, <laughs> I have no idea. <sighs> Here's the deal, every woman has 10 purses, they're all different shapes and sizes, I've got one tonight, it goes across my body, I put it on, I'm like, I know my new circumference, I'm not knocking shit over, you know? A man puts on a backpack and all of a sudden he's like, where's my body? Whoa! <laughs> it's like knocking shit off of shelves everywhere. <laughs> Babies are flying out of women's arms. Like 100% of the time I've been on a, on a train and it won't go because the doors won't close. There's a man standing there like this, <laughs> with his, just with his backpack in the doorway. And he's always so pissed. He's like, what's the fucking hold up? <laughs> Oh, step forward, sir. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I'm Lisa Curry, as you guys heard. I'm sure you've committed to memory, maybe tattooed on yourself <laughs> during this show. Here's the thing. As a comedian and a person that needs constant attention, um, <laughs> I, of course, need to slash want to be on social media all the time. And the problem with being named Lisa Curry is there's a billion of of us on earth. There might be 10 of you here tonight and there's only six women. You know, like, <laughs> there's so many women named Lisa Curry, which means I can't get my name on social media. And what's even worse is there's an Olympic gold medalist in Australia named Lisa Curry, and she's been famous since like the 80s. So that bitch went and she took Lisa Curry everywhere. <laughs> so I was like, you know what, fuck you. I took Olympian Lisa Curry. I was like, that's me now, I'm Olympian. <laughs> <laughs> that's no shit. That's me on Instagram, uh, <laughs> TikTok, Venmo, if you wish. <laughs> Everywhere. Like, I can't believe this woman just doesn't take Olympian. I'm like, are you kidding me? She has 15 medals. Seven of them are gold medals. If I had seven gold medals, I'd be wearing all of them on my neck right now if it meant Caitlin had to wheel me in here in a wheelbarrow. Do you understand? <laughs> I'm like, behind my desk, I have all of my childhood trophies displayed as though I'm my own child that died in a fire and I miss me, you know? I have a fucking Polish princess trophy on my shelf. That's a real thing I did when I was nine years old. I came second in a Polish princess contest. Wow. That's a real thing that I show off at, at Zoom meetings. I'm like, look at me, look at me. No Emmy, Polish princess, second place. <laughs> Um, anyway, I'm going to wrap it up there. I'm Lisa Curry. Thank you guys so much for being here. Uh, keep it going for the rest of the lineup. Keep it going for Kate. Keep it going for Lisa Curry. Woo! We having a good time? Yeah. Hell yeah, we are. You guys ready for your next comic? Yeah. yeah, she's amazing. You've seen her on MTV and True TV and Comedy Central. Please give it up for Ch Chanel.